Joining us for this week's entertainment panel is the classic Abby St. John. Thank you so much for taking the time to be able to come in studio and speak with us. Of course, no worries. Now we got some good topics on the go for this week. And starting off, She-Hulk attorney yes. at law. Now, there is a lot of talk on this right now, of course. Um, you know, even some people were saying, the most talk on it, unfortunately, mm -hmm. is like some people were saying that it has to do with the CGI, the way it kind of yeah. looks. Uh, the trailer was dropped earlier this week, and it, you know, it looks like an interesting trailer. Like, it definitely is like a different kind of superhero type that we haven't really seen, I feel like, in the Marvel Universe yet. Like, we have Hulk, of course, and we saw that Bruce Banner is in the trailer. Mm -hmm. We even saw uh, Tim Roth coming back, and he was the abomination. I love the abomination. I yeah. just thought that was, like, a really good fight scene in The Incredible Hulk. But it looks like it's going to be interesting with this She-Hulk attorney at law, how they're going to try to kind of transition with her being, like, a, a lawyer than also being, I guess, a Hulk now. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, it takes place, like you said, after everything that's happened and it follows Jennifer Walters who is Bruce Banner's cousin and she ends up gaining Hulk's abilities because she needed a blood transfusion after an accident and Bruce was a match to hers and gave her that blood transfusion to save her life which in turn gave her the Hulk's abilities. Mm -hmm. um, now she's played by Tatiana Maslany um, and I'm really excited to see what the show has in store. It's very interesting because throughout the trailer, yeah, she's a lawyer and that's <laughs> what she wants to be. She wants to be a normal lawyer, mm -hmm. but now she has to deal with these abilities that she gained from Bruce and she has to learn how to control it. And they show in the trailer him helping her kind of control it and trigger it so that she can turn it on and off like he has gained over the years. So he's definitely going to play a big role in this show, which is very exciting because, yes, we've seen Bruce Banner in a ton of other Marvel movies, yeah. but the focus hasn't always been on him besides, you know, his standalone movie, which Mark Ruffalo wasn't even in. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see more in depth of his character and the Hulk's character as the show is formed around the Hulk. So that's very exciting. Now, another actress that we will be seeing first on screen for the first time, Jamila Jamil is playing uh, Titania, which will in turn be She-Hulk's enemy and, you know, uh, will have caused some issues. Yeah. I don't know, we don't know too much about her role in it as yet, unless you've read the comic books. And on the CGI, yes, it looks very disappointing. Yeah. However, CGI is always one of those last edited things. Mm -hmm. Like we saw in the Moon Knight trailer, people were coming after the CGI for his, cos for his costume. But in the show, it looked fantastic yeah. and you didn't really see any issues. So I have no worries that it's gonna look fine when the show is released. I agree, and even like with the plot line and everything having to do with her story, I think even if the CGI happens to be a bit disappointing, it's still gonna be a fantastic show because everyone's just gonna like it more for the storyline compared to how she looks. Yeah. Um, I think a lot of, some people I even saw online were saying like that has to do with like, you know, of course with Bruce Banner and his Hulk, it's a little bit different. Like, you know, now after he transitioned, he kind of was like, he used to be like this big scary Hulk that he couldn't control mm -hmm. and then he could control it, but then he also change into half Hulk, half Bruce yeah. Banner. So it's interesting that the fact that she finally turned into She-Hulk, now she is like almost half Half, what a Jennifer Walton? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half Jennifer, half Hulk. Yeah. So it's kind of interesting because it's like, how come some people are wondering how come she's not this giant Hulk that, you know, goes crazy and stuff like that too. Yeah. So I, I think it's going to be interesting if they do, yeah, kind of change up that CGI right before it comes out. But overall, I think it's going to be excellent and I'm excited to watch it. So. Me too. Yeah. Now, next uh, topic we got on the go, a little bit different than <laughs> yes. She-Hulk, a lot more different. Now, t Downtown Abbey, and it's called A New Era. This mm -hmm. is the second movie in the, kind of they're doing like a trilogy of movies, right? Or is this going to be the last kind of movie? I'm not entirely sure if there's yeah. a third movie projected. However, with the success of the first one and already success on the second on yeah. the second one, and it's only been released this weekend, I think, yes. I think, that they would do for a, a third movie. I know my mom would <laughs> would be cheering and yeah. screaming loud if there was a third movie. So yeah. I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did do a uh, third movie to kind of yeah. maybe even wrap up the Downton Abbey uh, series. Um, but 
we'll see. Yeah. So far, so far, uh, we've seen some good reactions to this one. It's certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes currently at 84% critic rating, has a 98% audience rating. So the audience members who have already seen it are really, really enjoying this movie, which mm -hmm. I think is exciting. You know, the series had garner, uh, garnered a ton of awards, including seven Emmys, a Golden Globe, plus a ton of nominations uh, on top of that. Yeah. So I think that the series kind of underrated. Not a lot of people talk about it. And then the film came out and I think people, you know, were getting more excited into what Downton Abbey is and, yeah. you know, how it's a fantastic drama series. Um, so I think this is going to cause a lot of traction for Downton yeah. Abbey and maybe get some new fans into it as well. Yeah, especially with this second one, you know, we're already seeing online uh, with the articles and whatnot, like how strong that kind of first kind of uh, premiere of it already was, of how much traction it was getting. Mm -hmm. So I think this weekend it will kind of get the deserve, uh, kind of get, get what it deserves, you know, for like that attraction, like you were saying, that a lot yeah. of people might hop onto it. Like personally, I've never watched it. I've always thought it looked like a good drama. Yeah. Like, and it's one of those shows that I feel like once I start it, you're going to get hooked onto it. Yes. So, but you know, with it spanning like those six seasons, I think all the fans of it so far from watching that on TV are super excited to know that the second one is coming out already this weekend and almost yes. feels like it time flew by so yes I know my mom has been uh, antsy to see this movie and I know her and my sister are going to be seeing it you know the success of the first one it made almost 200 million dollars in the box office has an 84 percent critic rating on Rotten Tomatoes so you know showcasing what Downton Abbey is about you yeah. know the returning cast members are all in it including Maggie Smith who is just fantastic I like her any a lot. role yeah. she does I'd watch it just for her honestly yes. yeah. <laughs> so I have no worries that this is going to be even more successful as the weeks go on with it still being in theaters yeah I think it's gonna be exciting for all the fans out there and I'm sure they're gonna be really pumped to go in the theaters and check it out and it's gonna be good but that's all the time we have for this week's entertainment panel unfortunately once again thank you so much for joining us today Abby. of course thank mm -hmm. you